Hello, this is Tesla Travis, and today we're gonna to be talking about my first month electric bill with my Tesla solar system, 12.24 kilowatts. We're gonna go through the whole bill, check out how much I made or didn't make in credits, and how much they charged me or didn't charge me. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we'll look at my electric bill, and if you look at amount due, oh my gosh, it's $108.69. How can I owe that when I have solar? Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> let's take a look at the bill. So as I scroll down, you can see the past due amount is $96.10, and your new charges are $12.59. So my last bill, I didn't pay it because I was thinking it was going to roll into my new uh, yearly solar uh, billing and that I could use the solar credits to pay that instead of paying cash. Well, they did not allow the old bill to roll into the new yearly billing, so I have to pay that separately. So <clears throat> that was a previous balance. I will pay that. So as you can see, my new charges are $12.59. So why do I have to pay $12.59 when I have solar and I overproduce energy? Well, there's connection fees. So just to be connected to the grid of Southern California Edison um, with all the fees and taxes and everything they charge, um, there's a separate fee of $12.59. So that's a separate fee than energy fees. Um, they charge you separately for connection than they do energy. So as I use energy and send energy back to the grid, that's one billing. And the uh, connection fees or non-bypassable charges, um, there's a few different names for them. But that's a separate bill, and Southern California Edison uh, wants to be pill be paid monthly for that. So every month I will be paying this. Uh, friends of mine in my neighborhood that pay this say it fluctuates from eight to twelve dollars throughout the year. So I'll pay that once a month throughout the year, and <clears throat> at the end of the year, all my energy credits, which is that separate bill, they will settle up with me for that and pay me for all that extra energy. So it's kind of like I'm paying them. Uh, this fee all year long and at the end of the year they'll send me a check back which will offset it so at the end of the year I should uh, be free and clear but that's what we'll see I'll be checking each month to uh, see where this is and at the end of the year we'll calculate it out see how much money I'm getting back and how much it offsets everything so that'll be great um, as we see right here on the right it says your bill includes a past due balance so that's just talking about the Previous balance, understanding uh, net energy metering. You are billed annually for your energy charges because they can be offset by energy credits over the 12 month billing period. Any charges not offset by credits will become due at the end of your 12 month billing period. You may also receive a monthly bill. It reflects the minimum amount due each month, which supports the cost of maintenance and operation of providing electricity, which I just call a connection fee. And as we scroll down, you'll see my previous charge is $96.10, and my new charges, since I've had solar, is $12.59. We'll go through the whole bill and look at all the details here. So they just give a bunch of numbers to call for customer service, and this is some important information. This just kind of uh, talks about some of the abbreviations um, of some of the fees and charges they do. So you can pause the video and look at these charges just to see what things are called if you're interested. Again, this is Southern California Edison, so your utility may be different or charge differently or call things different, but this is the one I use. So as we scroll down, this talks about your new charges due monthly. Well, these are the energy charges, your year-to-date charges, negative $31.25. Yay! Settled at the end of a 12-month bailing period, um, which should be around January, somewhere in January of 2022. So that's the rolling credit that I have right now. It's interesting that they separate the connection fee charges with the rolling credit of energy charges, but that's just the way they do it. So that's the way we'll do it. Uh... Even if you have no year-to-date energy charges, you incur some monthly charges. That's the connection fee. You do not owe any energy charges as of this month. Only make a payment for this month's new charges. Keep track of your year-to-date charges as you may have charges in the future. If you are a net generator at the end of the 12-month billing period, you may be eligible for net surplus compensation. Yes, I should be eligible for net surplus compensation. So 
they allow you to do compensation a couple different ways. So one is you can roll over your energy credit to the new year and just use that energy credit as a credit on your uh, bill. Or at the end of the year, you can receive a check giving you uh, money compensation for your net uh, energy excess. And that's what I plan to do. Um, if I did not have excess energy every year, I would roll it over. But since I overproduce and end, I plan on... Uh, still using the same amount of energy all year long and I don't have another electric car yet. My energy uses aren't up, up too high yet. Um, I do want to receive a check at the end of the year for my excess. But a reason you would not want to is if you don't think you're going to generate enough energy for your usage, you may want to roll it over so you can use it next year. But until I start using more energy, I won't need to do that. But you do need to let them know about that. I think by default with Edison, they uh, roll you over your energy credit, but I want to receive a check from them, so we'll see what that is at the end of the year. Right here, it talks about my costs vary time of day, mid-peak, off-peak, super off-peak. It just goes to show you I'm in a time of use charge with Southern California Edison. Depending on which time of day I use energy, they charge you different prices. So that's just time of use. I charge my electric car at night, so this is a great plan to be on because it's uh, much cheaper to use energy through them at night. Let's see, your past and current electricity usage. So this shows all my energy usage, all my credits. And as you can see, I am negative 408 kilowatts. So that just shows you that I've sent back more than I use. So I overproduced 408 kilowatts from what I've used. And we'll scroll down. This shows, you know, a little bit more of my daily average. You know, if you go back two years here, it shows kind of what I've used to use. But again, I've I got an electric car. Um, I'm going to be using more electricity in the future. So that's my first month from January to February showing a credit. Yay! I like credits. This is a detail of the connection fees. So as you can see, details of your new charges. So they call it a basic charge. You can call it basic charge, a time of use charge, or not time of use. Uh, you can call it a basic charge or a connection fee or non-bypassable charges. This has been called different things, but it's around $13 there. And as you can see, I have a care credit and there's also these non-bypassable charges and fees. But after they're all calculated, you can see that I only owe $12.59. So that's pretty much the connection fee. On the right here, you know, you can see your delivery charges include distribution charges, overall energies include $12 franchise fee, 12 cents franchise fee, uh, Additional information, service voltage, 240 volts. I do have that. Uh, net surplus compensation option rollover. Um, I did call them and have that turned into check because I do not want the credits to roll over at the end of the year. I want to check for those. So I'll be checking this to make sure it gets changed on my next bill. As long as it's changed by the end of the year, um, that'll be fine. Uh, things you should know, change to net energy meeting monthly bill. So these just talk about some of the charges and they explain it so you can pause and read these if you want to. I don't think I need to go through all of them because not everyone's interested, but uh, that's the way Southern California Edison does it. And as I scroll down, you can see a little bit more details in how much energy I used um, on peak, off peak. And um, on the right side, it says additional information regarding your net compensation generation. Year to date energy charges total as of previous month, $0 because I did not have solar the previous month. Your current monthly energy charge total, negative $31.25. So that's the rolling amount that they owe me right now because I overproduce. We'll be checking that month to month and see what it totals at the end of the year and how much the check is that they send back to me. Your year to date energy charges include $31.25. And so far I've sent back 408 kilowatts. Uh, more than I've used. So this is just a detail of all the stuff they charge and credit. So there you go. This is the solar schematic that Tesla had sent me. Uh, my solar panels were adjusted a little bit during installation because of the fireplace chimney. So those were moved a little bit. But as you can see, it shows that I have 36 panels and a total of 12.24 kilowatts. And an estimated annual production of 18,588 kilowatts. So we'll check that at the end of the year to see how accurate that was. All right, well, as you can tell, to sum everything up, um, I had a connection fee 
of about $12 and I had a energy credit of about $31. So I'll go ahead and pay that monthly bill and add up my credits each month all year long. And we'll see at the end of the year how much money I get back from Southern California Edison. So uh, I'm gonna be doing these videos on my bill once a month and my solar. So if you'd like to learn more about it, like and subscribe and get notifications. And I'll just keep doing these videos to let you know how the billing goes and the credit, how much energy usage as I get from winter to summer and all the different changes with my uh, solar production and billing. So we'll talk to you later, Pilgrim.